showgirl stirred some old memories for a 71-year-old Valrico veteran. Kenneth Zolna recalled the story when his duffel bag was stolen at a Cincinnati airport in the 1960s. And this beautiful young lady comes up, grabs me by the arm, takes me in the USO, gets me an ice-cold coat, sat down there and talked to me for about a half hour, telling me, you're a United States Marine, you're handsome. For 70 years, the USO has entertained and provided comfort to troops. Now the nonprofit will find a home in Tampa International Airport. The USO Club will operate much like an airline hospitality suite. It'll be uh, built like a home inside. It'll have, be furnished just like a home, nice comfortable furniture, self-serve kitchen. Everything will be there for them. Everything is free. With MacDill Air Force Base home to thousands of military, the USO wanted a welcome spot for troops returning home and vets. What a great day to be a veteran. The groundbreaking at TIA marked the birth of a new USO club, joining around 60 others nationwide. To me, it's the greatest thing in the world because I can repay the young men that are, are dying and saving our country right now. The club is expected to open in August for all those in the armed forces looking for a little TLC. He makes the company jump, but he was reveling. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of company B. In Tampa, Samara Sotis, News Channel 8.